welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less, creating more and sharing with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen. And that starts in the grocery store. So today we're going to be going into the grocery for week two of our low spend grocery budget challenge month. Of course, if you didn't catch last month's low spend challenge, that is down in the description box for you, as well as last week's video for week one. My goal is to spend on average $100 a week, which is still lower than our normal $500 a month grocery budget. So my goal for the month of April is $400 for my family of four. Here is everything for week two of our budget challenge. Starting over here with the eggs. These come from my friend. She has chickens, so I buy them from her. Um, that's just dirt and mud from the yard. And then I bought one dozen of eggs to have for our deviled eggs. That way the kids can decorate eggs and they're just easier to color. So I got one of those. We'll use them for like egg salad and stuff. So we'll definitely go through them. I also picked up these little eggs for our Easter table. Uh, we'll put these into some jars. I thought this would be fun because they're more of a vibrant Cadbury eggs instead of the pastel. These are more vibrant. So I got two of those and some brown sugar so I can do some baking because we're like completely out of brown sugar. Some basmati rice is my favorite type of rice. So I bought a two pound bag of that and some Velveeta and I chose the queso blanco and we're going to make some macaroni not macaroni, but rotelle. We're going to make rotelle and cheese, and I'm gonna do the white cheese for that. And then of course, we'll still have some of this left over as well. And I'll try to do like a nacho cheese dip to go with our taco night. So for Easter Sunday, we're going to have some cheesy pasta as a side dish. And then I needed some more mustard for our sandwiches, deviled eggs, things like that. I also wanted to get some more of our Fairlife milk. I did choose this instead of the Carb Master because I noticed after buying it last week that there is more protein in the Fairlife. Even though there's a few more carbs, I'm not worried about the carbs. I wanted more protein. So fat-free Fairlife and some half and half. This was cheaper per ounce to go ahead and get the half gallon. And I will make some more coffee cream with that and the condensed sweetened milk. And then you can add your own flavor like vanilla or coffee syrup. For the fruit and vegetables, I picked out a pineapple. This was down to 80 something cents, 99 cents for this bag of clearanced oranges. And then I bought some apples. This is the pink lady variety that we got last time, but it's just a different brand. So hopefully those are just as good as the last ones because they were amazing. And then Malin picked out some strawberries and they finally look good. She already ate some in the grocery store. So they are delicious. Are you happy we have some strawberries? Yep. And I also got bananas and blueberries these are the really large ones see if i can open this with one hand there we go so these looked really good i hadn't tried them yet but they feel really nice so i got those malin was asking for blueberries and strawberries 
And then for some vegetables, I got some green onion to go with our Chinese one night, cilantro for taco night, asparagus to go with our pasta dinner, and then also some fresh green beans to go with our Easter dinner. I'm going to have some of these with our family. We're having a whole bunch of family over at our house for Easter after church on Sunday for lunch. We'll use some of these green beans with almonds for a side dish. And that is all of our groceries this week. Our meal plan this week starts with Easter dinner on Sunday. I'm really excited. We're having friends and family over. We'll have a full house and different ones of us are providing certain portions of the meal. So we are going to do a ham that my sister is bringing over. We're gonna put that into the roasting pan before church. We're also getting a bucket of chicken and my mom is making homemade dinner rolls, some deviled eggs, and she's bringing her salad with homemade salad dressing that we all love. I'm gonna make some green beans with almonds as well as some mac and cheese. My sister is also bringing over some mashed potatoes and then we'll have a carrot cake. We're also going to have some Easter cookies and of course a ton of candy. So that'll be a really great time. We're so excited. On Monday, I'm going to make chicken Parmesan with asparagus and I've shared a video on how I make that before. If I can find it, I will put that down in the description box for you. It's one of Dakota's favorite meals. And then on Taco Tuesday, I wanna make some chicken fajitas. We have some onion left and then some peppers in the freezer, so we'll do that. I want to make some chicken Caesar salad wraps, really quick and easy to do on Wednesday, which is usually pretty busy for us. And we'll serve that with some fruit, veggies, chips, super simple. Thursday, I want to make chicken teriyaki with pot stickers and broccoli. So I'll make rice and then I'll just probably use some chicken thighs from the freezer as well with some frozen broccoli. And then Friday, I want to do takeout or maybe we'll all just go out to eat as a family. I'm not sure. And then we're going to do some leftovers or another you pick meal for Saturday. So hopefully this video gave you some inspiration. And of course, until the next one, I will see you in the comments.